WWE is meeting with WBD, Warner Brothers Discovery. That's right. There is a report earlier this week that WWE executives met with Warner Brothers Discovery to discuss the TV rights deals of WWE Raw. Uh, of course, WWE Raw has been shopping around to NBCU, uh, well, the USA, Disney F- at, with FX, Amazon Prime, and WBD, along with probably a bunch of other potential suitors. However, um, they now are talking to WBD. What has changed, of course, uh, a couple weeks ago, Dave Meltzer reported that they you know, were talking with WWE, WD, WWE and WBD were t- talking to each other. Yeah, 10 times fast. That's a freaking mouthful. Uh, but they were talking to each other, uh, and then the door closed, and then seemingly something changed in the past week or so, maybe two weeks or so. Uh, uh, where all of a sudden the, they looked at the clock and they realized it was clobbering time. Uh, Tell where me a we're door, not telling lies. Where a door opened, of course, uh, for WWE to re-talk with WBD. Um, so yeah, uh, that's kind of where it's left off. Um, I think on the Ring of Honor press media scrum last, uh, not not last night, two nights ago, uh, Tony Khan commented that you know both sides are just doing their due diligence. You know he's. He thinks they're they still have a good, very strong relationship with Warner Brothers Discovery. So I don't think Tony Khan's too worried. And of course, you know, I, in my opinion, I think it's smart for WWE and Warner Brothers to d- discuss this idea. But Scotty, what do you think the likelihood is of of WWE Raw to head to Warner Brothers Discovery, head to TNT or TBS? I just want to know why they love CM Punk so much. Like, they didn't care that much about Raw, and then he showed up, and they're like, oh, baby, we need that back. I was like, it's just like, do they not know? Do they not know how this works? Do they not know how it worked last time? They gave it. Company surely company. they found out for surely they were told what happened with cm punk last time like it's crazy to me that's like oh yeah the talks are dead and then cm punk showed up and it's like really one guy was like oh you know what we want the 1 million the 1.4 million people per week oh, okay mm-hmm. um it's definitely interesting i don't think it's like the death of uh I don't think it's the death of AEW like a lot of people just, you know, kind of want to assume. Now, now, the, here's the big thing. Tony Khan has to be talking to every other network in existence now after hearing this. That's my big thing. If he was being loyal to Warner Brothers Discovery, now he doesn't have to feel that way. Now he can go and talk with, you know, the pretty much the networks that we've heard that WWE could be talking to, like an FX, for example, with Disney and, and, uh, you know, they probably can't talk to USA cause you know, SmackDown's on there, but there's other networks to talk with. Um, it's definitely interesting though, that they've come back on these talks. I just think it's like wildly shocking to be honest, like that we're here now because it was like three weeks ago that it's like, oh yeah, Raw's close to getting finalized. And now it's like, oh, but Warner Brothers Discovery. At the end of the day, I don't think like WWE is just going to pick Warner Media to screw with AEW. They're just going to take the highest offer and whoever has the highest offer, guess what? That's who they're taking because if you're a business, that's what you do. In a, in a Vince McMahon era, 100% they would take Warner Brothers Discovery just to fuck with AEW. Yeah. In this new Triple H Nick Khan era, I don't know. I think you're right. I think it is just going to be the highest deal, whatever best deal offer is going to be. Obviously, they're looking. You know, we saw what happened with SmackDown getting uh, announced as part of their renewal. Uh, you know, they were Tony, Nick Khan was out here talking about like you know a two x you know time deal or something, some insane number uh, for their TV rights deals, and instead they only got like a one point four x, which you know. <laughs> still millions of dollars that i don't have um but uh you know a disappointment for the stock company you know to you we saw that the tko stock dropped because of it so obviously they're looking for at this point and almost in some ways they need the best deal possible um what's interesting obviously is that for people like warner bros discovery like um you know probably amazon probably you know us usa all these other companies uh, the more interesting part of all this is the NBA TV deals 
are coming up as well in the yeah. new year. So that's the first one to fall. Mm-hmm. That's if you're talking looking at the dominoes of everything. It's once this NBA deal goes through, and then however much money it you know people get from it, the NBA I guess gets from it. Uh, a it lot will determine what happens with Raw, what happens with uh, AEW. Yeah, uh, well, I can I can give you a spoiler of the year. The NBA is going to make a lot from whatever their TV deal ends up what? being. I know, I know. Um, I can't believe it. If if Warner Media ends up going and keeping the NBA, then guess what? They're not buying WWE Monday Night Raw. I can tell you that right now because that's a lot of money you're hauling out. And the the, the facts are AEW is a lot cheaper than the flagship show of the biggest pro wrestling company in the world. Um, it's just true. But again, with 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 AEW, you should just be marketing every little thing you have right now. Um, I know, like, there is this feeling of wanting to sell it all as a package deal, but why? Well, like, why do that? Like, you have you have a library, you have three shows plus Ring of Honor. Now, get don't get me wrong, I'm not going out of my way to try to sell Ring of Honor first. You get you make sure AEW gets on TV, but it's a nice little uh, package to add on if uh, you know people are looking for time because here's the thing a lot of these networks that we talk about i feel like this is kind of forgotten like fx you know tnt tbs what what do they show most of the time reruns big theory and movies that's what they show like this is live week-to-week content that makes every bit of pro wrestling or at least AEW and wwe pro wrestling worth going out of your way to buy that's why I'm like not all that worried about AEW. They just need to start working now, you know? Like that's the most important thing. And I think they are. I think they are because, you know, this is a business and Tony Khan's a businessman. He would be silly not to be doing all that. I think at the end of the day, you know, Warner Media ends up just taking back AEW and raw goes to like FX or Amazon prime or something. But I just wanted to bring up that possibility because you know what they say in the world of pro wrestling, never say never. Yeah, exactly. Uh, You know, the only, the real possibility there is like if WBD for whatever reason loses the NBA, then yeah, there's a stronger likelihood that raw heads to Warner brothers. Right. Uh, Yeah. I'm a little surprised if they gave up on the NBA. I I don't think they're I don't think they're trying to give up in the uh, NBA. I remember I saw I want to say Dave Meltzer talked about the idea of like they are more willing to at least take some of the NBA if they're unable to get all of the NBA. Um, that's, how they, that's how it was this past time. They have exactly. some of it. Uh, well, I guess some of it would be even even less than what they currently have, but they'll still take something. Um, they they want to get some piece of that pie, right? Um, and yeah, you know, if the, if Warner brothers is unable to get any part of the, uh, and, uh, NBA, then yeah, it's going to open up the wallets extremely well at the you same know how much time. Money go ahead. NBA got for this deal for the last so, deal. So splitting it between Disney and Warner media, mm-hmm. 24 billion over <laughs> nine years. <laughs> so yeah, if, uh, Warner media gets any of the NBA, they ain't buying raw. <laughs> no, that's like what two. They're paying twelve billion for two point seven bill a year. Uh, overall, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, they don't have to pay that whole thing, but they have to pay sure, a lot of sure, it. Sure, sure. Damn, nice. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, yeah. Uh, that's the good thing is that AEW and WWE are not going to be that pricey, but you know, WWE certainly would like love to be in that range. The WWE different. wants to get to 400 million per year. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They are going to probably get to that, but they're going to probably be 350 or so. Yeah. So let's see. Let me look. That's up. a lot of money to to give anyone for a year, yeah. let alone five years. Mm-hmm. What do you think? Um, do you, let's say WVD lose uh, NBA, lose the NBA, right? Uh, we all, we all, especially me, <laughs> but we all know un- the understanding of Warner Brothers Discovery's financial issues. Mm-hmm. Would it then still make sense for them to 
go for the higher priced, but you know, in theory, more fan, not in theory, more fans of WWE and hopefully bring them in? Or would it just make sense to go with the cheaper price of AEW and still get a very good sizable fan base? I guess it breaks down to like the ads and stuff and you know, all the, all the information that I don't have and never will have to give you. Uh, but in the non um, technical terms, I would just go with AEW with how Warner Media is. Like, it's cheaper. It it does. It's the number one show on every Wednesday. Like, if it's not the number one show, it's top five. It's just it's to me it's worth it. Like, I I think this this deal between the two sides whatever it may be like you're going to get a lot of content from it whether it be dynamite rampage collision whether it be you know whether they cancel one of the other two we'll wait and see my preference is that they would like if warner media were to get aw back is to move collision but that's a conversation for another day uh, because i just think like they're giving up views by putting it on sunday uh, on saturday but I know like they're trying to avoid football and they're trying, but like, listen, football happens on Saturdays in the fall. It's college football, but it's football nonetheless. And that, that, you know, that obviously rocks these shows. So um, I think that's like something to consider if they kind of want to get the more bang for their buck, perhaps Yeah. Um, is not limiting one of the shows that they have, but we'll wait and see, I guess. Um, I think in the end, though, like I said, I think Warner Media still ends up with AEW. Um, I just think like this is more talk than anything else. Mm-hmm. And the like, you need someone in the room at Warner Media to be like, "Listen, we can't put all our money on CM Punk." <laughs> you, you, <laughs> like, uh, you can't. Like, don't get me wrong. Raw's gonna do good either way. Like, they don't need. Here's the thing with WWE: they don't need CM Punk. But the fact that these talks happened again because cm punk happened to join this company is just very funny and i think like what does he really change things that dramatically for you as a tv network no Mm -hmm. well i mean wb is certainly trying obviously they're putting him on the la house show loop to try to attract uh more of their tv executives one show i think i think it's actually two shows he's on uh msg Okay, that's what it is. It's Which the, I don't know it's if you LA know this, show in not in L.A. What? Since when? I know. Since forever? I know. I know. Um, uh, shout, shout out Dirty Dom, baby. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, I yeah. I don't think. I don't think. I mean, the NBA is obviously going to be the telling point here. Raw, we'll see what happens to it. If and WBD lose the NBA, then I guess we'll have a better conversation. But for right now. I don't think it's going to be happening. I think if I think if anything more likely, I think Disney or some sort of streamer would be more interesting. I think it would be interesting. Raw and FX is my preference. Yeah, I think it'll be more interesting to see that take place. Um, I mean, I would love for like you know AEW to diversify its portfolio a little bit, if you want to use that phrase of just like shopping around different networks and whatnot. But I get trying to keep it all in the same family. I don't think. Yeah, but have you? Ha- Think of hear me out. Hear uh-huh. me out. Uh-huh. Have you considered that WWE going with FX is our first step towards getting Tom Sawyer Island in Disney World replaced by the Island of Relevancy of Roman? We, we've we've discussed this before. And, and I just want to bring it up again. I feel like we're forgetting about that. I forget we're forgetting the importance of got, the island of relevancy. Right. We got uh dirty Dom's playpen. Um where <laughs> all right, move on. Move on. No. Hold on. Not. We got to come up with more no, Disney. No, Disney no that's it. No. You, How do just we change dir- the you just said Dirty Dom's playpen. It, I mean, I guess I don't want to say mommy's playpen. I don't think that will, I don't think that'll right, track the Disney's tough. audience. Yeah, you're going to hear. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Scotty's tugging at the collar already. Uh, 